Hi, my name is Simon August and I'm a Chaldean pneumologist and I'm going to give you a very short introduction to the two main systems of pneumology in the Western world, which is Pythagorean and the Chaldean. If you are from an English speaking country, you probably learned a lot about the Pythagorean uh, version of pneumology, which actually is a very new version, which doesn't work with name changes. It only works with, as you can see here, the date you were born, the month you were born and the year and looks into what it creates of in your personality. But in Chaldean numerology, which I'm trained in, we also look at the names and what it creates. So I've just created a very random person called John Johnson at a random date and month and year. So this is not a, a person who exists in the world. I'm just creating it to show you what it means. So in a Chaldean numerology, we work with that you can change not what you are born to do, but we can change how you do it and if it's easy or not. So this person right now, he works a lot because he has a number here that means he um, doesn't take care of himself and he just fulfills everyone else's need before he takes care of himself and he can have anger issues. But it's not so easy just to see it from one number. There's a lot of different numbers. He has a number nine down here as well, which means he's a very hard worker and he lets his needs be met the last. And he could also have a tendency to use his power to get his own will. As you can see, because it's a 15, six here and number nine here. He might have issues with his joints because of the number nine down here, which means that he um, becomes very stiff in his joints. So some people get arthritis when they have the number down here. There's also numbers that are way more saying that's deeper level. And the deeper level is the under vibrations created by the consonant and the vocals in your names. And for example, down here, we can see that it's a person that he wants to uh, create organization in a loving way and he's good at communicating. And he, in himself, he has a lot of guilt and shame because of these numbers down here. And he's very, again, tough on himself, very hardworking. He could be an athlete because of those numbers. And he often experienced that he's been misunderstood and it creates a lot of drama in his personal life because of the number 12 tree down here and up here. That's like his personal um, life. There could be a lot of drama. What other people see and experience about him is this number over here. They can see it is someone, that, someone who brags a lot perhaps, but he also wants to be, he's very charismatic. He's like someone who you can see him immediately almost when you sort of meet him in life. You just, you can hear him, you can see him. He's very charismatic and very good with communication. And what you feel is that he's very, again, strong willed. And he knows what he wants. He wants success. He might be a, a little bit lazy, um, but he will um, uh, get what he wants. Then he also might experience some loss in his life. Um, but there's like different numbers here. You can see a lot of things here. And numbers are just a representation of different archetypes. So uh, numbers is uh, the underlying vibration of the world. So we're kind of packaging and translating what we see in the world to numbers and then translating what the numbers means in our life. So it can't be completely precise because it's always up to us to sort of um, analyze it and to uh, you can't see how people use the gifts gifts that they've been given you have the option to do the best with what you've got or you can make it a bit easier for yourself and it used to be that the indians changed their name when they went through different uh, transformations in their life so they went from having uh, a certain name and then they were a teenager and got a different name 
and then they had a victory and they had some success perhaps and they become uh, someone else so they had to change the name to sort of a suit where they were at in that life it's quite easy to change your name in the UK and the United States uh, you all have a lot of different options mm. but you can't change the date you're born you can't change the month and the year so you have to find something that suits your uh, gifts and your weaknesses how can we get the most out of it and that's what you do with the numerology in Chaldean you sort of find the names that suit you the best and also have the best uh, yearly uh, energies because you can see out here there's different energies that comes in every month and uh, some months are good for success some months are good for getting pregnant uh, getting married and some months you just have to take it easy so you can actually see which months are the best to success and which months you should sort of relax a bit and we also can change that uh, we can't change over here which is something you're born with but we can change how you feel and what happens in the, on the outside so numerology is a very powerful tool I've changed my name twice and every time I've had an increase in my uh, wealth my abundance my health has gone dramatically increasing even though I've done everything right with Feng Shui, dowsing, health and nutrition and workout it was like an extra level that made me not attract certain things, certain experiences again and again and again it also made it way easier for me to get out my potential, my uh, deepest um, gifts that was sort of held back with my old name I got a name that had this number 178 which is about having to be in the spotlight so if you want to be out there in the spotlight you have to have this number somewhere and this person is sort of a famous person because he has it a couple of times here um, so you have to find a balance of course so I often find that people that have this number here uh, they are either a star they easily get attention and then can also if they have too much of it be allergic to attention that it's too much for them so they get yeah very frustrated with it um, but the different numbers have to be balanced but you can change your name and I would very strongly encourage you to get a numerologist to look at it a Chaldean because the Pythagorean don't look into changing the names they only look into sort of um, find out what your gifts are and what your potentials are and what your weaknesses are um, so it's two different systems the Chaldean is more precise and more powerful so if you want to have a session with me or anyone else in Chaldean numerology you can find a link beneath this video here where you can look into um, I can help you with uh, both finding out what are your weaknesses and if you want to change your name I can also uh, give you the potential good names there's like long lists of names you can choose between and it doesn't have to be something that's completely weird the names you choose yourself but sometimes there's not a lot of options especially with surnames there's not a lot of options so this was my introduction to Chaldean numerology my name is Simon August and I wish you a very blessed day all my love bye